what is a black box testing right so in this video we will learn what is a white box testing in the subject of software engineering so uh, as you can remember black box means what what is happening inside you don't know then in white box testing what happens as the name says white means what very clear very open right same so what actually ha what is actually happening inside the code or logic or functionality you will be able to see everything okay what classes are there and what classes you are using like in java you have classes right so what classes are there and what control statements are used by the developers what like they are using if statement or they are using for loop everything you can see okay and it is also known as glass box or clear box or it is also called as structural testing okay so basically you will be able to see the entire implementation implementation means all these three things code logic code logic functionality and every details you can see in the white box testing okay and yeah as i said everything the loops the control statements first statement if statements which case what all are there you can see that and it is called as glass box or clear box or white box test okay so and now let's try to understand this with an example now let's say you are doing you are developing a calculator website okay you are developing a website that's for a calculator very simple in black box as i told you if you simply enter 3 plus 2 it will give you 5 if you enter 8 minus 2 whatever you give it will you don't know what is happening behind the scenes this is in the case of black box in the case of white box what will happen white let's box see. testing you guys should be able to see the internal working for example let's say int a int b int c is there and you said return c so when you said return c what is the operation happening behind c this operation you will be able to see you will know the implementation behind the plus symbol so you are adding both the numbers okay so you will have the plus button right on the calculator so behind that button what is happening if you want to check you can check and you will be able to see this part okay but in case of black box testing you cannot see anything of this kind okay this is a simple difference between both of them similarly for everything for all the buttons on the web page for all the uh, like let's you have for subtraction for multiplication for division for each and every operation each and every button each and every functionality what is happening behind the scenes you can see this is a very simple thing but in case of complicated logics it will help us a lot to understand what's happening behind the scenes so that you can test you can pick each and every scenario and you can test in so many ways okay what is the use of this black white box testing then why do we need to know as a tester as a person who is testing the application why should i know the implementation if you ask this question then as i just told you can test with valid or not valid values also okay uh, like uh, let's say uh, what what kind of errors it might throw when unvalid values are given um, let's say you 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 don't know like like let's say you have a button called div okay and you don't know what happens behind the scenes on that button okay in case of black box testing in case of white box testing since you know what happens you will see the logic and the logic will say it does a divided by b so in this case what you will do you will give b is equal to 0 and you will do the testing so if you give b is equal to 0 what will happen a divided by 0 it is undefined right division by 0 is undefined so you should get some error like zero uh, is not allowed in denominator for division or it is undefined or it is infinity or whatever it is you should get that error message on the screen what kind of error it throws when unvalued unvalid values are given okay you should be able to see that error message instead of giving that error message let's say it is simply uh, closing the website closing the browser or it is behaving in some unexpected way then that's not sh what should happen right it has to clearly display the error message on the screen to the user so those kind of specific things you can check in the white box testing not only for this scenario any any scenario let's say uh, you you are doing something you do you doing uh, like whatever it is if you are doing any operations especially in arithmetic operations right there are so many scenarios where you can get into undefined values so all those every situation can be basically tested 
only if you know the implementation behind that if you don't know the implementation behind that simply in, in let's say in case of black box testing what you will do you will simply do okay let me do it said division okay they, somebody will give you something they will give you six comma three and they will tell you click on this is the input okay click on the division symbol and then you will get the output as two you got it yes done test it passed but is it will it really work for all the scenarios no right that you will be able to identify in the white box testing again in this also you have so many types you have the basic path testing you have the control structure testing you have the loops testing loop testing and you have the branch coverage okay these are the different types of testing you have in white box testing we will learn about them in the next videos don't worry okay and this is mostly done by the developer sometimes testers might come because the developer has to understand the logic because we are testing the functionality as well so we have to ha understand what's happening behind the scenes as well so that's why mostly it will be done by developers sometimes testers might be providing their inputs and it requires a programming knowledge because you have to understand the code understand the implementation okay and this is usually done in unit testing or integration testing phase itself okay this is about white box testing i know the video is very small the black box testing was also very small but when you combine both of them it is you can you can basically combine the differences between both of them and you can write up okay so this is for this video guys and yeah let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video with another topic and yeah thanks for watching the video till the end